think we'll have a very good season if we really, if we play the way we practice, we compete at a high level every day at practice. And I'm honestly just ready for the bank to be filled again. Perfect. Well, uh, let's go to some questions here. Again, if you have a question, let me know down in the chat. Adam Wells is up first. Hey, Kevin, you, you said that you're ready for the bank to be filled again. Um, when you get to play in front of a, a packed crowd again this year, how much advantage can you guys take from playing in front of a home crowd like that compared to what you had to play in front of last year? I mean, it, I feel like it definitely helps with the uh, – momentum of the game and the uh, momentum swings during the game. I think it overall, it has an overall very big impact over us playing during the season. You guys have a scrimmage coming up. Uh, and I know you've been, as Coach McMahon said, been kind of battling uh, with each other the last couple of weeks. How excited are you guys to kind of face enough, some other competition other than yourselves? And what do you want to see out of that scrimmage? I think we've been ready to play against somebody other than ourselves probably since school started. Because, I mean, as Coach Mack probably told you, we've been competing at a high level ever since June 1st. And we're down to the dog days of us competing against each other. I think we'll do very well as long as we just stick to what we do and play at a high level like I know we can. Thanks, Devin. And go to John right next. Go ahead, John. Kevin, I know you're a big three-point guy. Uh, what range do you feel comfortable? Just behind that arc, or do you like going farther out? I mean, it doesn't really matter where I shoot the ball from, I don't think. I don't pay attention to the line most of the time when I'm shooting. What is your maximum range, you think? Other side of the court. <laughs> uh, let's go to Neil Bradley. Kevin, uh, in the weeks that you've had to practice with the team, a lot of new teammates, where have you seen the most improvement areas? Defense, ball handling, rebounding, where have you seen the most improvement so far? You mean as a team or as like? As, as a team, yes, as a team. Definitely defensively. We compete very hard on the defensive end because we know – Defense wins games, and it's not just about offense. I feel like if we play defense the way I know we can, we'll win a lot of games this year. Your coach, Matt McMahon, also addressed the need to get to the free throw line more. I know he means you, I'm sure, but probably as a team. What are some of the keys to getting to the free throw line more during games as you see it? Just doing what we don't want opponents doing, and that's getting into the paint. If we get into the paint, we'll get to the free throw line a lot more. I felt like we did a poor job of that last year. We were more of shooters, but this year I think we'll be fine getting to the free throw line. Anybody else questions for Tevin? Let me know down in the chat. We got a couple more minutes uh, uh, with him. Uh, all right, we'll go to Harry next. Go ahead, Harry. Hey, Tevin, good afternoon. Uh, how fun will it be to go to Memphis, play there, see Ja, be a part of all of that? What will that be like for you? I mean, honestly, I can't wait. That's probably, that's one of the bigger games I think I'll be playing in in my four years of being here. And honestly, I can't wait for it. The hype for that game is just like the way I approach any other game, honestly. They're, you know, obviously an outstanding team. So you've got a game against a high-level competition and then that whole NBA experience, it's got to be a, just a, a mix of excitement, fun, anticipation. Yeah, I think it'll be very fun for me and for the rest of the guys for us to be able to go there and play in a high-level game and then possibly watch a high-level game after we play in the game. You uh, are the latest in a long line of outstanding guards there at Murray. We mentioned Job at Campaign and others have been there. Uh, do you feel like you're kind of the, the guy carrying that legacy forward for the racer basketball program? I mean, I just do what I can for the program. Just come here, shoot the ball, play defense, and basically do what Coach Mack says. All the other stuff take care will take care of itself as long as I play the way I know I should. And, and your thoughts post-graduation, you want to continue to play basketball? Yeah, I mean – all of that stuff will be taken care of once the season's over. I'm just focused on this season right now. 
I might get the same kind of answer out of you on this question too, but uh, I've been asking some of the players and coaches about, about the whole NIL thing, about players being able to profit off their name, image, and likeness. Is that something you've even uh, investigated, thought about, talked to people about? I mean, it was a thought when it first came out, but that, that really hasn't been on my mind since we started. And, and, and finally, for me, you and KJ, uh, your job to get everybody acclimated and, and to understand the right way to do race or basketball, I mean, with so many different new guys around. I think it's been, it's been pretty easy for us to be able to bring the guys along and help them figure out what we're supposed to do and how the team runs because we have an older group. We don't have any younger people coming in not knowing what to do. So, And I feel like some of our transfers, their previous schools kind of played how we did. We just had to get them right with the plays. Appreciate your time. Good luck this year. Thank you. We'll go back to John uh, to probably close us out. Final question. Evan, when you watch John and uh, Cam Payne doing so well in the NBA, uh, both of them had very good games uh, in their openers this this week. How much does that inspire you, knowing they came from the Murray State program? It inspires me a lot. I mean, they come from the so-called mid-major program here at Murray State, and it just – it pushes me to know that people are watching and that everybody sees our team and everybody has opportunities to make it. 